you might be knowing that the IITs are the best ranked engineering colleges in the country. But until a few days ago, even I didn't know how are the colleges ranked in the country, how does the world ranking systems work, and what are the different world ranking systems out there. I was surprised to find out that the QS world ranking systems, the Time world ranking systems, the Shanghai ranking systems, and the NIRF ranking systems. When I looked at them, each one has their own criteria. And I had to look into a lot of data to find out how do these colleges, how are ranked by these systems. Now let's take the first ranking system, QS World Ranking System, ranks the colleges in the country, in the world, and in Asia. Today, when QS ranks its colleges, it goes by the reputation of the college, the reputation of the academic program in that college, followed by the research that is done in that college. If I take QS Asia rankings, the number one college in the country is IIT Mumbai, followed by IIT Delhi, IIT Chennai, IIT Kanpur at 61, and I take it Trichy at 126, and Banaras University at 167. As for QS, the number one college for engineering in Asia is in Singapore. Now let's take the next ranking system there, the Times ranking system. The Times ranking system gives a lot of importance to the teaching faculty, followed by the research. Research and citations is even a lot of importance. As per the uh, Times Asia ranking, Indians of Science is ranked 36th in Asia, IIT Delhi 67th in Asia, IIT Mumbai 69th in Asia, ISER Pune 130th, IIIT Hyderabad 149, and NIT Kerala at 192nd position in Asia. The next ranking system, which is commonly referred to as NIRF, that is National Institution Ranking Framework, used for engineering colleges, gives a lot of importance to the students to faculty ratio, 30% of it, the labs, 30% of it, faculties with PhD and experience, 30% of it, and only 10% to extracurricular activities and sports. As per NIRF, the number one ranked college is IIT Chennai, followed by IIT Delhi, IIT Mumbai, NIT Surat Kal at 13th, Bits Pilani at 30th, IIIT Hyderabad at 39th, MIT Manipal 45th. You can come up with any ranking system. If you think that placements are important for you, you can rank the colleges in the country just based on placement data. But when you look at the placement data, please look at the average placement data for that college. You can get the placement data from each colleges. So I have pulled out placement data for engineering colleges in the country, and I was surprised to find out that IIIT Hyderabad has got a placement statistics similar to IIT Mumbai, followed by the other IITs, followed by IIIT Bangalore. So IIITs followed by um, the IITs, followed by NITs, and so on. The ranking systems in the country doesn't mean anything to you if you can't get into this top 15 colleges in the country. So I'm going to give you a ranking system, or you can give you a method through which you can come up with a ranking system and decide on which college you can join. This decision-making process was first developed by Benjamin Franklin. I use this in my life. So the decision-making process, as per Benjamin Franklin, takes what is important to you, let's say important to you for you, maybe the branch, the college reputation, the faculty in that college, the experience you're going to have, the placement, and how far that college is from the place you live, that is location. Those are the important factors. Then look at the ranks that you are going to get in JMA, J Advanced, or the Regional Engineering exams, and see which colleges are available to you, and put a weightage on all these criteria. So let me give you two examples. In the first example, you're a student from Bangalore named Kiran, who's got a rank of J main of 1000, J advanced rank of around 1000. The colleges that are going to open up to you are the IITs, IIIT Bangalore, and IIT Kisaratkal, and so on. Let's see how you're going to take a decision based on importance factor and the weightage for each college. For Kiran, branch is very important, CS. So he says, I want to give an important factor of 10. College ranking is not so important for me, so give it a weightage of importance factor of 5. Faculty in that branch is very important for me, 8. Experience Kiran is going to have in that college, 6. Location, very important for me, 8. Placement, 8. Kiran goes to ID Mumbai site, looks at the cutoff and says, I'm going to get 
mechanical engineering in Mumbai. So he gets, I'm not going to get the branch I want. So he gives it a weightage of five. College ranking gives, gives it a weightage of 10 because it's ranked one. Faculty in that branch, he gives it six. Experience he's going to have in IIT Mumbai, eight. Location, five, because he has to now go to Bombay for his studies. Placement from IIT Mumbai, eight. He does that for all the five colleges, that is IIT Mumbai, IIT Madras, IIT Kanpur, Super IIT Bangalore, and IIT Kisra. Once he does the multiplication of importance factors to the weightage, and he adds these things, IT Triple IT Bangalore gets 411 and IT Suratkal gets 351. So for him, now the decision is between Triple IT Bangalore and an IDK Suratkal, and IITs don't even come into the picture for him. Let's consider a second student from Bangalore again, named Ajay. He gets a rank of 10,000 in JE mains and around 10,000 in JE at once. The importance factors are the same for him. Branch is very important for him. So he gives branch 10 and RF rankings 5, faculty 8, experience 6, location 8, placement 8. The colleges that are going to open up for him, IIT Darwad, and IIT Suratkar, Triple IIT Bangalore, Triple IIT Raichur, RV College, so on. He finds out the weightages for each of the colleges by going to their sites. He goes to Triple IIT Darwad, and sees that he's going to get mechanical, so puts a 5 on it. Ranking of the college is 4, faculty 5, experience 4, location 6, placement 6. He goes to Triple IIT Bangalore and sees he's going to get CS, so he's going to give them 10. Ranking 5, faculty 9, experience 9, location 10, and placement 10. Then he multiplies the importance to the weightage, and then he realizes the decision for him is between Triple IIT Bangalore and RB College, Bangalore. This decision-making process could be done for anything. Let's say your rank is 10,000, your rank is 1 lakh, whatever it is. See which colleges open up to you. See what is important to you and see the weightage of those important factors on each of the colleges. You can take this decision-making process for anything in life, for your medical colleges, any other colleges you can think of or you can take this decision-making process to anything you want to decide in life. Let's say you want to buy a laptop. What is important to you? The RAM, the look of the computer, the processor, the graphic card, the weight of the computer. Those are the importance factors. Then you can go through any of those brands, Apple, Dell, HP, MI, so on, and give a weightage for each of those criteria. When you multiply the importance to the weightage and you add it up, it becomes very clear which laptop is the best for you. I hope this video has helped you. If it has, please click on the like button and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.